I would say the majority of people that I've reached out to to take the storytelling thought they were going where someone would sit with a book open on their lap and read to them. Yeah, I just think there's a misnomer out there in terms of what storytelling is. I think a lot of people, if you were to ask them what is storytelling, they would think it was an old person in a wingback chair reading books to children. And they didn't realize <clears throat> that they were going to a stage performance where they were going to hear from someone who was an actor or a comedian uh, who was going to sing and tell stories and, and, uh, and entertain them uh, as if the stage was full of people. The stage is a wooden stage. It's not, not fancied up. The, the people that come out to talk to you come out in everyday clothes. And the lights are going to go down. I'm going to just kind of settle into my seat and get really good and comfortable. I mean, I shut my eyes and then I just go with the experience. And what transpired, I think, was really a life-changing moment for us because we realized at that point that storytelling wasn't just for children. We realized that there, was, there were these amazing adult storytellers who were telling stories for adults. I mean, you have people that come down from the mountains that tell stories. You have people who grew up in the cities and the urban areas. Telling folk tales. They were telling stories about their childhood or their past. You feel like you're sitting on the front porch swing with them just, you know, having a nice evening conversation. They could be a detailed description of just one event or a collection of um, several moments that make up a bigger picture. It's nuanced so that you sit there and you feel like you're transported to that place. That's a good story. All kinds of adventures in life. It's a very intimate setting and to me that's what storytelling is all about. Some of them seemed almost like they were stand-up comedians. They were so good and with telling the story and just being so funny. We have a storyteller come once a month and the next storyteller is going to be different. It's not the same. The very first time I went to a storytelling arts performance, it, the whole time I was there I didn't once look at a watch and that very rarely happens for anything. It was just this really neat kind of a mix of emotions that you, we experienced that first night. I mean, one would make you laugh, and one would make you cry, and one would make you just think a lot, you know, about life. But it's the way they put words together that just tickled you. It's just like reading a book that took me to places I'd never be able to go. And that's what really makes their presentations unique, because most of the stories involve their own experiences in there. And my favorite were the personal family stories uh, that the tellers told. You've got one person with a microphone, and to me, they can enrapture me with their voice, with their mannerisms, with what they do and how they do it. It's about real people, with real stories, real emotions, real experiences, real insights. They're real. They're genuine. I, I think we can all resonate with them in one way or another. People want to be entertained. They want to, they want to, they, their emotions to be involved. They want to laugh. They want to cry. And there's a way that it weaves together all our human experiences. And when it was all over, they said, we had no idea. You know, we had no idea that, that we were going to sit in an audience with one person up there standing on a, sitting on a stool uh, who was going to paint a canvas and, and fill the stage with actors that we could visualize. But I think a story, maybe because it, it, it conjures up a visual image, gets down to the core of a person. It goes to the heart and it also helps the heart and mind think together that this is important, this is impactful. When you listen to a story, you immediately think of stories of your own life or your own childhood. We all have a need to tell our story. It's words that really have an impact on us as human beings. You don't have to have a cultural separation on some things because they're human experiences. That keeps me coming back. <laughs> I take great joy in introducing my friends to storytelling events because they all come out saying, I had no idea. And then when the story ends and, and the evening is, is done, that moment stays with me and I feel like I have something in common with everybody that's in that room. Anybody who's been to a storytelling event knows that after it's over, you need to go somewhere and sit down and, and, uh, and have a drink uh, uh, or a glass of wine mm -hmm. and just let people tell stories at that point because their, their imaginations have, have, been, uh, have been energized by the storytelling process. So. I remember the drive home after seeing that and we thought, oh my God, we just <laughs> that was the neatest 
thing we'd ever experienced. It gives me a really good feeling to, to listen to somebody tell me a story. That's what's great about storytelling is the experience. I think everyone should um, go to storytelling at least one time just to experience it and see what it's like for themselves because um, if nothing else, it's a great night out. Um, it's a, something completely different from going to the movies or going out to dinner. Um, and um, chances are if you go once, you'll be hooked and you'll come back again and again.